Yeah, and then um, I guess finally is the only Japanese guy <laughs> is Maeda Jun. Uh, he basically- That name sounds familiar. Yeah, he wrote he wrote music for like Clan Ad Air He Cannon. also wrote Clan Ad He also well. wrote Clan Ad what? Aaron Cannon. Yeah, and uh, Angel, so, Angel B, yeah. basically every key. So basically anime. what makes Maida Jun- my Is this, is this fuck- cause you got into the, the gacha recently? From that too. Okay. But <laughs> what makes Maida Jun my fucking idol is yeah. just again, the fact that this man can single handedly write a story, write characters and just write all the music for it. Just single handedly. Hmm. Like it must be an advantage there. That you yeah. can like you know the characters and the story better than anyone. Right. You can but craft the whole What's music but like I don't know, like of course I like, you know, I, I look up to this guy just for like his ability to like tell a story. Mm. Because yeah. like Clan Ad and like Air and Canon and Angel Beats are like, you know, great stories, mm. right? Yeah. Um but like I think the one thing that makes my like I appreciate my Jun is just how fucking musically talented he is. Yeah. yeah. Because not only can he write like somber like piano tracks that have no lyrics at all, like the entirety of the Clan Ad soundtrack yeah. and make yeah. me cry like a fucking yeah, baby. Yeah, I cried. I cried. But he can write fucking bangers mm. as well. Like, you know, any of the Angel Beats songs. Yep. Yep. Are Doing like absolute years. fucking like Girls Dead Monster that like that fictional band he created in Angel Beats. Every song is a fucking banger. I'm like, you can write bangers and you can make me cry. Like, it's pretty impressive. I didn't know that. Like, how do you do that? I didn't, I didn't know that. And so, all. like, you were talking about the gacha game I got into. Yeah. So, Key recently released a gacha game called Heaven Burns Red, mm-hmm. which is the first fully Maida Jun produced game in 15 years. Huh. Um, and so he wrote the is story. It, is he, it a visual novel? Uh, it's a. It's yeah. It's it's kind of like it's very dialogue intensive because okay. it's a fucking Maida Jun game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's also like a. It's like a turn based RPG kind of yeah. thing as well. Okay. Of course, it has gacha. So of course, you know, I'm going to love music. it. Yeah. So yeah. he wrote the story. He wrote the character designs. He came up with the character designs. Huh. He came up with the scenario and he wrote all the music for it. Fucking hell. Well, that's why he hasn't well, been doing anime recently, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> all this time in a gacha game. I mean, it's also because he's been like extremely sick yeah, as true, well. True. Oh man. Like the whole, like, you know, the whole theme in like Angel Beats yeah. about like the yeah. heart thing, that's just based off his own life. Oh Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. Cause he has like Fucking a chronic hell. like heart uh, like disease or something. Then. He's done so much. Yeah, yeah, Jesus. yeah. I mean, he wrote, I th- I'm pretty sure, I don't know if this is true, but I think he wrote Angel Beats in the hospital bed. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. While he was admitted to hospital, he wrote Angel Beats. What the fuck? What a fucking bamf. And, and it's just, yeah. And he's just like, he is a bamf. Like, and yeah, the fact God that damn. like, again, like this man doesn't miss. Not just like- <laughs> He don't miss. He don't miss. Like every, even in the new game, mm. like the story is great. The characters are great and the oh. music fucking slaps. So yeah. I guess I guess everything else just lifts your enjoyment of the music more. Right. Yeah. And it's like, it's and I feel like, you know, uh, you know, we were saying earlier that like fully cooly as well. Right? Yeah. Like pillows, I was I was very close to putting pillows because that's He's just like- Pinches it out for you. Yeah, yeah. I think Mitogen just pinches it out for me because like as much as I love the fully cooly soundtrack, the first soundtrack that made me fall in love with mm. anime soundtracks mm-hmm. was Clanat. Because like, again, as a pianist myself, yeah. Listening to like piano music that makes me fucking break down crying like yeah, a bitch. Perform it. <laughs> and and it's like I can't even I can't even like learn to play these songs without crying. Right. Oh. Right. And it's like that's That's wholesome. And that's like really hard to do as yeah. someone who like, you know, because as someone who writes music, I strive to do that to people. Yeah. Right, right. And the fact that this guy can do it over and over and over again Thanks. with like everything he also writes is like, how do you do that? Why can one man Bam. have all that talent? Okay. It's not fair. I'm just saying, man, Key, no, you, Key would not be where they are without this guy. Hey, some, sometimes you see someone and you're like, I hate you. you're a bit too talented. Yeah, I hate you. <laughs> like, this is unfair. And he's good looking. Like, yeah, yeah. As if I couldn't like, like uh, uh, give me something to hate. Like God, God obviously didn't love all humans equally. No, he, he, made, <laughs> he made you. He made my head He made on my head of June. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> I, I wish I had a sliver of the talent this guy has. Yeah. Damn. But uh, yeah, I guess well, that's Thank my so three by three. That was um, very, uh, I, that was, I feel like I learned a lot. Yeah, I, 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 I learned really I learned anything. way more than me talking myself or listening to Connor. I don't know, man. I, I, I feel a little bit uh, pushed back because I was like, I need to somehow top the Gaunt living an anime Beck story. You can't, you can't top that. I couldn't top it. So you I was pulled like- pulled up the Slumdog Millionaire. We're, we're, just, we're just living in Gaunt's life. <laughs> this is, we're not, we're not in this. Gaunt, Gaunt's story is yeah. his, his I will, own. I will, I will swear, forever live in that shadow. I, I swear I have mentioned you before have I've, not, been, I've been in the not. band. Just yeah. like- <laughs> The same way everyone's been in the band. Yeah. Like, no, what you does know, that no, mean? No. I've, been, I've been in like six bands, but I never had a cool story like I that. Just, I, I thought when I said I was in a band, everyone had the similar experience. I don't know. No, no, no. 
You're wrong. Wait, so what, 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 hap- what normally happens when you're in a band then? Do you, you not play like gigs? You pretend just, you, uh, you Yeah, yeah like, you go to the drummer's house, you play a couple of cover songs. That's it. And then you're like, all right, cool. See you never again. Yeah, yeah that happens all the time. Yeah. Wait, so you you watch Smash Mouth the, once. Yeah, what's the it. point of forming a band if you're not going to play gigs? How are you going to play a gig? How are you going to arrange that? You're like 12, which fucking dumb as fuck. How did you get a How did you get a gig? It's so fucking easy in Brighton. There's so many. Oh yeah, oh, yeah in Brighton, yeah. In, yeah. in Sydney, it's pretty fucking okay, difficult because okay. there's I, no music. Wales, this is fields. Where am I going to perform, yeah. Garn? Where am I going to sing Smash Mouth to? to? the sheep. Where am I going to sing All Star, Garn? Think about this. There's like five gigs going on every weekend in Brighton, so I guess I didn't take that. I can't account. even top you when it comes to like band names either, because like that band name is just like fuck. Like the best band name I was in was Resting Bitch Face. <laughs> but that's just because the lead singer had a resting bitch face. <laughs> it's always like that. It's like uh, Cheeto Puffs. Well, it's called Cheeto. I always like it. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna bite us in the ass in 10 years and we yeah. have copyright infringement problems. Yeah, yeah exactly. We'll just deal with it. But damn, I guess that was our trash taste in music. Yeah. Uh, let us know down below what you thought about it. And uh, who has the trashiest taste in music? I, 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 me, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Probably like, I, I, I had a hard time explaining why I liked my music. No, uh, you did not. What are you fucking on yeah, about? Yeah. You, did it you had the longest segment. You literally had amazing stories for every I, single I, I, reason. I, I, literally just like, I did like, the thing is I didn't even talk about the music. That doesn't matter. That yeah, doesn't but you matter. had like a Kishimoto filler arc worth of <laughs> oh, stories for every single band you talk off, about. Man. You, you, fuck off, I'm missing with that yeah. shit.